The way Geralt uses his five magical signs in the Witcher series has changed significantly from one game to the next, as have the skill trees assigned to each sign. To help guide you towards a combat style that works for you, we've compiled a breakdown to show you the signs in action at each of their five available levels. When you start The Witcher 3, the first level of each sign is available. Afterwards, you need to spend skill points to level them up. Let's look at Ard, one of the game's better crowd control skills. Ard unleashes a blast of telekinetic energy that staggers your enemies. It's helpful in a number of situations, though most useful when surrounded by a pack of creatures like Neckers, Drowners, or Wolves. You can also blast a flying enemy like a harpy out of the air with a well-timed Ard burst. Level 2, far-reaching Ard increases the blast's range, making it easier to pull wyverns and harpies out of the air as they swoop in for the kill. Level 3, Ard Sweep, is the alternate sign mode, which takes the standard cone of effect and makes it a circle around Geralt. If you're in the middle of a forest and surrounded by white wolves, you'll enjoy the upgrade. Level 4, Ard Intensity, increases the effectiveness of every aspect of the sign. Every sign has an equivalent passive enhancement. Level 5, Shockwave, increases the damage you do when blasting opponents. By this point, you could off a number of enemies in one go, flinging them outwards and plunging your silver sword into them for a final execution. Yurden slows enemies who enter its area of effect. This sign is vital when facing ghostly enemies like Noon Raids because it turns them corporeal when they enter the trap's area of influence. Yurden's slowing effect also makes it great for crowd control, as well as for making large enemies like Cyclopes lumber about in slow motion. Level 2, Sustained Glyphs, makes traps last longer. In addition, when you activate the next level of Yurden, you get more chances to activate multiple traps at once. Level 3, Magic Trap, adds a one-time damage effect and increases the trap's radius. Try dropping Yurden only when an enemy draws near to inflict that damage and get the most out of the trap. Level 4, Yurden Intensity, does what it says on the tin. It intensifies the trap's effects. At level 4, every sign has an intensity increase like this. Level 5, Supercharged Glyphs, causes enemies to lose health for every second they stand within the trap. If the creatures you face are weak enough, you can watch their health siphon away without having to put a lot of swinging effort in. Next up, Quen, Geralt's Protective Shield. Quen should be your first line of defense when facing bosses and other big monsters. After all, many of them can slash away a good portion of your health with a single hit. But it's also really helpful when you're facing a bunch of drowners or wolves that keep knocking you around before you can get in a swing. Level 2, Exploding Shield, pushes back opponents when it breaks, and at its most powerful, will knock enemies down. Level 3, Active Shield, causes your shield to remain as long as you have enough stamina. Also, when the shield absorbs damage, you gain some health. Level 4, Quen Intensity, does what you probably imagine it does. It increases the effectiveness of all of Quen's attributes. Level 5, Quen Discharge, reflects damage the shield soaks up back at your opponent. Interestingly enough, the most defense-oriented sign is the one that frees you up to slash away with Abandon. Now, let's look at Geralt's most charming sign, Axie. Axie charms an opponent, temporarily eliminating him from combat. Not only does this allow you to stun bandits and turn them against each other at higher levels, but it makes available certain conversation options outside of combat. Think of Axie as the Witcher's version of the Jedi Mind Trick. Level 2, Delusion, keeps opponents from moving towards Geralt while they're charmed. And at the highest tier, it staggers your victims even when the charm fails. Level 3, Puppet, turns your target from foe into friend for a period of time. Keep in mind that this doesn't make the victim any more aggressive, though. If there isn't another enemy in range, your target won't go looking for one. Level 4, Axie Intensity. Yup, you guessed it, it makes Axie even more effective. Level 5, Domination, allows you to stun and convert two opponents at once. I mean, why bother getting your boots bloody if you can just make someone else do your dirty work? And now, let's take a look at Igni. Igni causes you to emit a blast of fire in front of you. What more can be said? Fire is always fun, 
and this is the best offensive sign at your disposal, effective against almost any enemy you face, with only a few exceptions. Level 2, Melt Armor, causes Igni to, well, melt armor, making your victims more vulnerable. Level 3, Firestream, turns the whoosh of fire into a continuous stream of flames. What a blast! Oh god, I'm doing puns again. Level 4, Igni Intensity. You probably know what this means, a passive upgrade to your fiery blasts. Level 5, Pyromaniac, increases the chance of causing an enemy to burn for a sustained period of time. By the way, this of course applies whether or not you're using Firestream. A simple blast towards a crowd of bandits can quickly turn into a veritable weenie roast. So there you have it, a look at all five levels of all five signs. Hopefully this helps you get the most out of your adventuring in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt.